Welcome to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having a great day. This is Robin Donna Litwin here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about trusting God and His Word to see your needs met. Our reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for He is faithful that promised. Today's teaching is called How to Pray, Believe, and Receive. The writer of the letter to the Hebrews was telling everyone that they should hold on to or cling to their beliefs and profess or declare their beliefs without wavering. The writer ended this verse affirming that God, who makes these promises for our beliefs, is faithful to come through on every one of those promises if we believe without wavering. The Apostle James spoke of the importance of believing and not wavering in his letter, chapter 1, verse 6. But let him Ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. James continued in the next verse, James chapter 1 verse 7, saying, For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. What James was telling you is that when you are wavering in your faith, you disable God from being able to help you in your situation. The reason God is unable to help you is because you are going from belief to unbelief. When you do this, you are not standing on your faith in believing His promises. You must profess or declare what you believe and stand on that to see your need met through the truth of what God's Word says. It doesn't matter if you need a healing, financial help, or mental help, like peace, because you are so stressed out and struggling with issues in your life. If you put your focus on God and His Word, you will find thousands of promises that counter these very things. God promises perfect peace financial prosperity, and perfect health, right here, right now. But it can only happen if you empower God to do it. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 explains that God is able to do anything, but it also says that it is according to the power that works in you. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. This power, according to you, is fully dependent on how much you stand on faith in God's Word and allow Him, through His Word, to work through you, allowing Him to perform whatever it is that you need. If it's a healing, find healing verses, like 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, and Psalm 103, verse 3, which would be a good place to start. Speak them over yourself, and don't waver in believing what they say, because they are promises from God. If it's financial issues, stand on 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, and Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, which tell you that God supplies all your need, not only financially, but in every way you need it. If it's emotional help you need, you can stand on Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, and Psalm chapter 4, verse 8. These verses are great to speak out loud and believe what they say to see your situation turn around speedily. Just in case you don't believe it, here is a verse that will confirm the truth in God's Word. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11 says, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. This verse says that any word that goes forth out of God's mouth will not come back to God without it accomplishing what God has intended for that word to do. If that isn't enough to get you excited in the truth of God's word, this verse continues to say that the word from God's mouth will prosper in the thing that he sent it to do. That means, if he said you are healed by the stripes of Jesus, you will prosper in that healing. If God supplies all your need or gives you perfect peace, you will prosper with your needs met, and you will have a peace that surpasses your understanding. Here is more proof that you can trust God at his word. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 18 says, It is impossible for God to lie. If it is impossible for God to lie, You can hold him at his word. If he said it, he has to perform whatever is going forth out of his mouth. When you understand these things, you can take the word of God, study it, put it into your heart and mind, and stand for what it says with a guarantee that you will see whatever it is you are believing will happen. God said it, it's done. Believe that and put your confidence in God and his promises because he will reward you for your faith in him. The writer of Hebrews said it like this. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35 says, 
Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. What he was saying is when you do put your confidence in God and his promises, you will see great return on your faith in him and his word. So, whatever you are facing or whatever your need is, take a hold of the word of God and his promises and see your situation turn around. The only thing you have to do is trust God, stand fast without wavering, and believe what his word says. In closing, here is a verse that you can implement with your scriptures that you choose to stand on to see your situation change. Take the scriptures you choose, speak them over yourself continuously, and pray, believing they work because they do. Jesus was quoted by Mark in his gospel, telling you how to grab a hold of the answer to your prayer. Mark chapter 11 verse 24 says, Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. Jesus said, when you pray, believe you receive the answer, and you will have it. Remember, believe when you pray, and don't waver, and you will have whatever you prayed for. Father, thank you for your word being true. Help us to put our confidence in you and your word without wavering. In Jesus' holy name, Amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. If this teaching has blessed you, please consider becoming a monthly partner to help us increase the ways we are proclaiming the Word of God. This is easy to do. Just visit our website at rejoicingheart.net. We thank you for your support. We leave you with more encouragement from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.